Hi, <clears throat> my name is Vanda Crosley. Thank you for contacting me regarding home ownership. This is just a little brief little video to kind of give you the steps that you need to take. There are a lot of them, so I'm going to break this up into um, a few different ones to make it easy for you. So a little bit about me. I am an educator. I taught at DeVry University Health Information Technology. And of course, DeVry University closed down. They uh, canceled that program. So I turned to a realtor after moving to Houston, Texas. I really love the uh, industry. And so I became a realtor. So now I love educating about real estate. So the first one is I want to talk to you about getting ready to buy a home. First thing is don't go out and get new credit. Uh, watch what you're spending. A lot of people spend a lot of money on eating out. So now it's time to, you know, get those beans and rice and oodles and noodles and, you know, try to eat like you're in college again to save some money because you are going to need a little bit of cash. There are a lot of down payment programs out there. No down payment programs out there, but you still need to have a little bit of money to buy a house. You don't need you know, 10, 20, $30,000 in all cases. But if you have it, the, the more the better. Um, know what your credit score is. If you don't know your credit, you can always go to annualcreditreport.com, www.annualcreditreport.com, and you can get one free every year. So get that printed out. Um, that way, when you're shopping around, you don't necessarily have to pay um, all these people to do your credit check and then drop your score down. You can give them a copy of that and um, you don't have to you know, worry about those hits on your credit. You are going to need a pre-approval letter from a lender before we go shopping. Why do we need that? So you might be looking at $300,000 homes and your credit report based on what's on there and your lender will only approve you for $280,000. So we don't wanna go look at the $300,000 houses. You get your hopes up, I love this one, but darn it, I'm a little short. So you wanna know what your spending limit is. So you wanna, if, even if you're approved for 280, you may wanna get something in the 250 range. You may wanna go based on what you can afford to spend a month. And you also gotta think about the taxes, you gotta think about the HOA, you gotta think about insurance. Is it in um, a flood zone where you're gonna need higher flood insurance? Is it in, down here in Texas, is it in a high wind uh, area where you're gonna need extra wind insurance? So your insurance company and your mortgage person can help you to decide those things. And you know how much you can afford. So then when you're ready, then we can go shopping. So all this may take, some people get approved right away because they got their uh, tax statements ready. They got their uh, bank statements ready. They've got their um, pay stubs uploaded. So they can get all that done in 24 hours. Where some people, maybe they don't have the electronic check stubs. They got to go dig them out. They don't know where their last two years of tax returns are. So they got to request them from the IRS. You know, so it may take longer. And then they may say, well, you're right at where we want you to be, but if you could just pay off this one bill or pay it down some, then you know your interest rate would be lower and we can get you approved for a little bit higher. So it may take a month or two. So you don't wanna go looking at a house right away because if you're not approved for that house, you're not gonna be able to get it. It's gonna be gone when you are ready. So we want you to have your pre-approval ready and um, have a little bit of money saved up. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. And then you also have to decide what you want in a home. Do you want two-story? Do you want one-story? Do you want a attached garage, a detached garage? Do you want a big backyard, no backyard? Um, do you want to live in an area that has an HOA? Do you want a pool? Do you want crown molding? You know, those are the things that you need to start thinking about. This is going to be your biggest investment. And it's going to cost you a lot of money. So you got to make sure it's exactly what you want. And then where do you want to live? We don't want to go look in in Spring, Richmond, uh, Tascacita, Katy, 
you know, where do you want to live? Do you want to be in a good school district? Is that important to you? Do you want to be close to your job? Houston is huge. You don't want to do a lot of commuting. At least I wouldn't, but you know, everybody's different. <laughs> um, so we want to know what area is it and concentrate on that area. So I can set you up with alerts where whenever a house hits the market that fits your criteria, you're notified about it. So you don't have to go on Zillow and realtor.com and you know search around. And sometimes those things, especially on Zillow, are outdated. The house has been sold two months, but it's still listed on Zillow. Realtor.com is a little bit um, more up to date, but um, you know that's what you have a realtor for. Um, so in the three stages that we talk about are the items you're gonna need before you sign the purchase contract, the items you're gonna need to complete after you sign the purchase contract, and the items you're gonna need in order to close escrow. So in this one, we're just gonna talk about um, stage one. You're gonna need earnest money. Earnest money is typically 1% of the purchase price. So for a $2,000 home, they want you to put an earnest money up of $2,000. That's just saying you're serious about this house. Now, if you only have a thousand, you know, that might work. But if somebody else comes in and their offer is the same as yours, you're offering the same full asking price, but they put down $2,000, the seller will likely go with the person that's putting down the $2,000. Or if they put down $5,000, they're really serious. Uh, they want that house. They're going to go with that one because that's a stronger offer. So just keep that in mind. And it must be in the form of a check or a money order. So if you don't have a checking account, I highly recommend you go get one. That way you can write it, put a copy of that ready to go. The title company can either come pick it up or you have three days from the time your offer is accepted to deliver it to the title company. So nowadays, you know, people are searching online for homes, you find it, and you wonder, well, why do, why do I need a realtor? I can just go to the person that's selling it. Why do I have to hire somebody else? The selling, the person that's selling the house has hired a realtor to represent them as the selling agent. So they represent their best interest. If you're a buyer, you also need a realtor to represent your best interest, and you will be hiring a, a buyer's agent. So if I'm your realtor, I would be considered your buyer's agent. So I represent you. I keep everything confidential that you tell me. I know exactly what you're looking for. I'll negotiate for you, uh, try to get you the best deal, make sure your earnest money and your option fee is, uh, is uh, protected. So you're going to see open houses. You're welcome to go to see any open house you see. But make sure when you go, you tell them that you have a realtor. Don't call the sign on the house because remember they represent the seller. So they're trying to get the seller as, most much, as much money as possible. So they might have the, high, the, high, the house um, listed for a higher amount than it's actually gonna sell for. So as your buyer's agent, I would search the comps, see what other properties sell for in that area, recommend a price that you should offer. If you wanna offer full price, you're welcome to do that. Some people do that because they really want it. They're like, what's the house worth? It's worth whatever someone's going to pay for it. So if you want to pay over asking price, you're welcome to do that. But it just depends on how bad you want the house, how soon you want the house. You know, so we'll talk about all those things. The next one is new home bills. There are a lot of new homes being built in the Houston area. So you don't have to get a house that somebody else has already lived in. You can get one built. Um, if you go to a new home builder, make sure you tell them that you have a realtor. And they'll ask you to sign when you come in and they'll say, do you have a realtor? Yes or no. You know, put my name down. I'm your realtor. I represent you. So they may tell you things like, well, you'll save money if you don't use a realtor. Or if you use our realtor, we can give you this, that, and the other they still can give you whatever it is they say they're gonna give you. They already have that money built into the price of the home. They know that a realtor is gonna come in and so they got that 3% already built in there. So you're not saving any money. They're not saving any money. Um, well, they will save money if they don't use a realtor, but they're not gonna give you any extra incentives. So these fees are already built in. So 
you can go do that and then just let me know where you go, what you like, and then I can still negotiate with them for these extra incentives that they said that they would give anyway. And then sometimes there's some more uh, that they don't tell you about because they're representing the seller because they're the salespeople for the builder. So it makes sense. So my slogan is Van de Vals to work hard for you. I'm available, I'm full-time real estate. I do teach a little bit um, here and there, but it's online and it's at night or maybe one hour in the daytime. So I'm available, I'm full-time. So whenever you wanna see something, if I'm not with another client, I'm working for you. You can contact me anytime. My number is 773-678-1085, or you can email me, vanda.crosley at exprealty.com. And my website is vandacrowsley.har.exprealty.com. So my next video is going to be explaining the documents required to hire a realtor. So I'm looking forward to working with you and helping you to get into your dream home. If you have any questions, hit me up. Have a good day.